It's April 9th, that makes it Tuesday. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute, and today we're gonna to talk to you about Yelp. So for those of you who are not familiar with Yelp, it is a online review website for businesses uh, where basically it gives people a really easy way to be able to find certain types of either restaurants, bars, or any type of business online in their area that they're currently at and they can read reviews from other people on there. They can also leave reviews for other people. There's a five star system, one star being the worst possible review, five star being the best possible review. As a business owner, you need to be aware that you probably already have a Yelp listing whether you know it or not. You need to make sure you get on there and you claim that listing, update it with all your current information, and most importantly, get the ability to either privately or publicly respond to people's reviews about you and your business. It's called reputation management, not something to take lightly. It's for real and it's happening right now. Um, I think Gartner Report came out with a report last year about top things to look for uh, happening online from a marketing perspective. And they talked about reputation management and these online reviews being the new form of malware. So in the 90s and 2000s, we had malware where you know, you would click a link in an email, it would take you to a website, and suddenly a virus would be on your business computer, your home computer, and it would wreak havoc. Well, these online reviews are the new form of that. Basically, any customer who comes into your business, uh, any competitor who you're going up against uh, in your marketplace can go online and leave a negative review about your business. You need to be aware of this. You need to start mitigating against it and taking action against it. Don't take it laying down. On the one hand, if it's a legitimate complaint about your business, it's giving you really good feedback. So address it, privately respond, or if you know who the customer is, reach out to them and try and make amends to this thing. They might not remove that review, but hopefully they'll at least leave an update to the review saying that you reached out to them and you tried to fix the situation. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can publicly respond so it shows up right underneath their review and it lets people know, hey, you're aware of what happened, you're trying to make amends, um, and you're trying to work things out. Other people are going to read that. Now, the, the real problem is that, and I personally have this when I use Yelp and I look for business, we don't necessarily read all the reviews. We look at the, the five-star average that your business has received and we make a judgment based on that. Now, uh, I personally go in and I read the negative reviews about a business because I want to see if they're legitimate complaints, i.e. there's cockroaches, there's hair in the food, it's disgusting, the owner's a total pain in the butt. Um, if they're a legitimate complaint like that, I'm going to take that into, you know, uh, accordance of whether or not I'm going to go to that business. Now, if they're BS complaints, right? Oh, they didn't have all scones that day. Um, you know, I ordered a Bloody Mary, they were out of the mix. Uh, I had a coupon, I didn't read the coupon to know when it was good for, and the business didn't take that coupon. Those are a bunch of BS complaints. You're going to get those. Be ready for them, and for the most part, ignore them. Because A, you're never going to be able to make that person happy because they're just a natural whiner. And then B, you know, they're going to make that complaint no matter what. So just, you know, let them go. Um, keep focusing on your real customers, making sure they're happy. Focus on the real complaints. If people are complaining that your restaurant or bar is dirty, then hey, maybe you need to make some adjustments. If they're complaining that your salespeople, because you're selling uh, air conditioning systems, are being too pushy, uh, then, you know, maybe you need to address that with your sales force. Uh, you know, use it as a weather beacon for where your business is at, but just be aware that they're there. Now, to those of you that leave Yelp reviews, please understand it's a one, two, three, four, and five star rating system. The majority of the time, it's either a five star or a one star review left. People never use these two, three, and four stars. Understand that when you are leaving a business a one-star review, you are giving them the worst possible review rating you can leave that business. So, whether or not the waitress came over and spat in your food, or there was hairs in your food, or cockroaches, 
or you just were unhappy because they didn't take your coupon, which you didn't read, or they were out of your scones, or you know maybe they were more expensive than you could afford. A one-star review, is that really worthy? I, I don't know. Just ask yourself, you know, what is your state of mind? Are you, are you just upset at the world or is there something else annoying you? Or did you really just have that terrible of an experience at the business that you need to take it out on them? Understand, these are real reviews. Other people can read them. They do affect that business owner directly. Okay, it can cost them clients and business. And if you're really just leaving a one-star review because you were frustrated with yourself for not reading the conditions of that Groupon, um, or, you know, hey, it's a more expensive place than you can afford to go to, maybe you should just not say anything at all and move on with your life. Hey, that's just my two cents. I don't want to be all nitpicky and, and sounding like I'm whining and, and being a jerk, but, you know, that's just what I see from managing people's Yelp accounts. Uh, let me know what you think. My email address is right there. Uh, am I going too far overboard against people leaving one-star reviews? I don't know. But from a business owner's perspective, I think it's really important that you uh, are paying attention to your Yelp account, you're taking control of it, and um, you know, you're know you managing that as you will. But uh, like I said, there's my email. The comments are right here. Let me know. Tomorrow's a Wednesday. We're moving on through this week, and um, you know I'll see you there. Rock on.